Hello folks and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna learn uh, X-Studio lighting uh, in Maya and Arnold. So let's get started. So basically uh, as you can see here I have a scene, X-Studio scene set up and I'm gonna use uh, Arnold Sky Dome and uh, Maya directional light to create an exterior evening lighting setup so let's get started first of all i'm gonna select my render settings and i'm gonna go to arnold renderer and i will first decrease the camera a to probably two diffuse two specular two we do not have any transmission so we will disable it we do not have any sub 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 scattering so disable it and also volume we're gonna disable it i will enable progressive render all right and then i'm gonna go to ray depth and i'm gonna use diffuse 2 right and then i'm gonna go to system and make sure that i also decrease the bucket size to around 16 or something first of all let's create a directional light so i can go to rendering and there it is directional light and I'm gonna press W to select it, Control A for attributes, go to object display locator scale around 5, right, and I'm gonna rotate it like this, right, and I'm gonna use the Arnold section of the settings so i will not mess up with this maya default settings i will always always use the arnold settings so i'm gonna use the color temperature and probably around 5500 this is the daylight temperature and i'm gonna use an exposure of around three right and let's let's take a cam uh, camera angle Okay, so I will use this camera angle and make sure that some, some part of the sky is visible. Like this. Right, and I will enable my film gate and also I will create a camera from the view or you can press Ctrl, Shift and C. So now I also select my camera attribute i'm gonna rename it short cam and i will use i will use my resolution and get mask capacity around 0 0.3 right okay now and i'm gonna go to arnold and okay now i'm gonna go to my perspective view and i will rotate this lamp toward this right go to our shot cam and let's take a quick render right so as you can see our light is very harsh at the moment right now right and so what we will do is we're gonna go to all node and make sure the exposure is around one angle is around one angle is the softness of the uh, shadows you know like the, the uh, sh shadows Right now, what I'll do is yep. 
I like this. So this is our shot cam, right? Fine. Now we will use a skydome. Okay. So I create a skydome, right? And instead of using an HDRI, we are gonna use a color ramp texture. Okay. So I'm gonna go to Windows node editor and I'm gonna input a ramp texture right three here also I'm gonna press three and I input the color from out color to this color right and I will use a interpolation of smooth. I will use a view ramp and I will use around one, two, three, right? I will use this color as a you know reddish orange kind of tint like that. Then I will use color of around two thirty-five right and saturation of 0 0.6 and value of 0 0.8 then i will use around 225 saturation around 0 0.7 value around 0 0.8 and after that saturation around 0 0.9 value of 0 0.8 right now I'm just gonna decrease it right like this like this like this right now let's take a look there we go as you can see we have our evening view right now I will do is select my directional lighting and I will increase decrease my temperature to around 3500 because it's evening time so let's see uh, nice and I also decrease my exposure to around 1.5 Nice Okay And I will use a, another lighting so what i'll do is i'll rename my dome here to skylight and i will press ctrl d and i will select my skylight and i will add skylight underscore dg why because i want this light to to do not cast any uh visibility light so what i'll do is I remove this camera okay and in the scarlet BG I will remain it to the camera and disable everything else and also I will deselect this illuminates by default right and in the color option I will use a file and I'm gonna use this sky you know background right so let's take a test render Alright, let's 
color did you there we go there we go now as you can see here is our sky right evening sky purple sky so you can see nice you know sunlight coming through and the environment light here you can change something some uh, for example the intensity sorry the angle so for example I will add 0 0.75 okay and expose around 2 and I will also decrease the temperature to around 2800 pretty much reddish kind of tone like this All right so this is it this is it and you can use more spotlight kind of thing so I use I will use a spotlight kind of thing right from like light coming from this alley so what I will do is I will use some area lights and a perspective and I will use some area lights here Right, and I will use some area lights. Right, so here it is, and this is our light. I will probably decrease the temperature around uh, 45, let's say. Rise, yes we're getting some light and I'll increase the resolution final in the final, in the final render view and also I will increase all the samples right and that's it I will show you advanced technique on the next tutorial for example the global lighting uh, cinematic lighting right and uh, I will also show you mostly interior complete work tool of interior lighting right so yep thank you and I hope you like this uh, please subscribe like and